What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. What do we have today, Samantha? Today we have more REM. REM, the last song that we did was from them was Everybody Hurts. Yeah. And today we're coming to one that was actually unreleased. Yeah. It was uh, supposed to be from this album here in 2001. Um, you can see a not a final version. So it didn't get released in 2001 when they recorded it. Yeah, but it did, however, get released 18 years later in 2019. And that was for a hurricane relief effort for the Bahamas, I believe. Yeah, and, Hurricane uh, Dorian. Dorian, yeah. So um, they released it in light of that. And we're coming to this song in light of Dauphin, who yes. has made another request. And we appreciate the support, Dauphin. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you guys are interested in making any kind of paid requests, you can check the link down below to our PayPal. We really appreciate that support because a lot of the videos get copyrighted. So it does help us drive the channel, helps us buy some lighting and, you know, get some recording software yeah, upgrades and, that we can keep the best video quality yeah, for you guys. And that's what we try to do for you guys on the channel. But anyways, we're excited to check out more REM, right? Mm hmm. You liked the last one. Everybody hurts that we did. Yeah. I had recognized that one a little bit. I remember. Yeah. So, um, it was a little, it was cool for me to have it's a little, little bit of an, right? Yeah. But then also like re-listen to it and appreciate it in a new light, I think was really cool. And it's pretty cool that they were able to release this song 18 years later. Right. Yeah. Kind of highlights their catalog in that yeah. they had a song that, uh, Dauphin clearly likes and were able to check it out, you know, or they were able to release it so much later than when it was recorded and people yeah. still love it. Yeah. It's right? going to be relevant and stuff, which is yeah. cool. So I'm Thanks interested to, to see what this is all about. All right. You ready? I am. Let's do it. Let's go. Yeah. 
right, so we got fascinating from REM and uh, super relaxing in the first half of this, uh, well, what we've listened to the first half anyways. Yeah, and, I really like the keys in this. I feel like it really like sets that nice melody with that kind of, like you said, relaxing, kind of laid back flow of the song. Yeah, it's, uh, I would agree the keys are, you know, stand out in this one. And um, they've got a lot of, you know, futuristic sounds, I feel like. Uh, for this one, um, are you catching the lyrics in terms of what he's discussing? For me, I like, I it sounds like he's mentioned space, and that kind of goes in line with some of the sounds that I'm hearing from an instrumental mm -hmm. perspective. But I'm not really capturing the meaning of the song so much, and what maybe he's referring to. Um, so I don't know if he was talking about space of like just space in your life or space actually the like concept outer of space. outer space. Yeah, um, because the clarity on the first listen it's like his vocals great but I'm just not picking up the lyrics specifically on every single point so I don't want to make an assessment on what the <laughs> lyrics are representing if I don't catch every single word you know what I mean yeah for sure so I was trying to like really listen to that actually and so far what I've gotten and I could be totally wrong but so far from what I've heard he's at a party mm -hmm. and he doesn't really fit in and he okay. is very like kind of like the odd man out and feeling like he's like, you know, not really like, you know, the same as other people. Right. Um, but from I think he's like noticed a, another person. So like, I'm assuming it's girl. And he's been saying like almost like if you would just like talk to me and like drop me a line, give me a nod, like acknowledge me like we could leave here together and like go find somewhere quiet, another space, another place that's like, you know, get to know each other type thing because she's fascinating. So that's kind of what I've gotten from it. But I, I could have missed pieces in there because like Phil said, it is kind of hard on the first listen to piece it together. But I was like really zoning in being like, what is he saying? And that's what I took from it so far. Well, you caught more than I did. Yeah. That's for sure. Um, I was definitely listening to a lot of the musical co components as mm -hmm. well a little bit more. Um, I tend to be drawn to that on a first time listen anyways. Um, and it's interesting seeing his the change in his vocals. I mean, the first one that we listened to, Everybody Hurts. Mm -hmm. um, he was really showing off his vocal capability yeah. in that one. And he's shown pieces of that in this one. But I think maybe talking about the storytelling aspect that you're referring to in the yeah. toned down bits in terms of the yeah. instrumentation. Because then we pick up with a little more of the percussion as we move through through the song and it you know kicks up the en energy as well. So I think alongside that, that's when his vocal starts to pick up as mm -hmm. well. So um, it's an interesting composition. It's, I think, you know, very unique. I don't know if I've really heard much like this in terms of the alternative rock genre. Yeah. It's it's definitely got its own sound, own vibe to it. It's like I said relaxing but almost uh, thought provoking at the same time. Mm -hmm. So which is a weird combination. Yeah. You don't tend to be relaxed and be thinking a lot at the same time, right? Yeah, I definitely find his vocal to be a lot more mellow in this one. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like in the last one that we did, he had a lot of like almost um, like raw passion and emotion kind of coming through the song with the message in the last one like everybody hurts right it was like you like really wanted you to feel like the pain and the, yeah, the sorrow sure. in there whereas like this is I'm not getting like that's not the same kind of no, vibe of this no. song um, so I feel like his vocal is like not he still sounds great but it's a lot more like mellow and toned down in this yeah song. well fit which fits for that introduction that we had for the first you know minute and a half anyways let's get back to it see what they're gonna do in the last two minutes Yeah. 
Yeah, so I think like also the lyrics are in that little bit I picked up. I think he's also saying like this girl is fascinating, but if you just give him a chance, even though he's a little bit different and doesn't really a fit awkward. in. awkward. Yeah, that he could serenade her or fascinate her or resonate with her. I think those are the terms he used there. So like, mm. I think the whole thing is kind of like, he sees this fascinating person, but nobody's really given him the time of day because he doesn't really fit in. But if they just like gave him a little bit of an acknowledgement, right. you'd see that there's more to him type thing. Right. Yeah, yeah it was it was cool. The uh, use of the keys, they had multi-key layering, it sounded like. Um, obviously, it sounded like some synthesizer use mm -hmm. as well. Well, and uh, you know the song really came to life in the second half I feel like was really exploding with a whole lot of instrumentation I'd love to see an instrumental list for this because it seemed like there was a ton of layering that they used to mm -hmm. give it that vibrant feel I feel like even his vocal picked up a little bit more in that back oh, half yeah. a little bit as well yeah it was uh, lots of diversity in the vocal performance so mm -hmm. it was a cool song and it was like I said very different um, had very a uh, balladesque feel uh, from the rock side of things i don't know if that's indicative of R e rem uh, because yeah. I've, everybody hurts was also you know much a much more of a ballad feel so the two songs that we've got into from mm -hmm. rem have sounded um you know emotive and passionate and um probably discussing things that people can relate to yeah uh, on an intimate level Mental which is cool relationships you know like dynamics of I guess society stuff like that yeah and so that's cool because you obviously uh if you can relate to music then you're going to resonate with it right yep. so i appreciated checking out a little more rem and i think you did as well what were your thoughts on the song as a whole so? yeah i thought it was cool i thought like you had said at the pause it's very unique very different also we haven't really done a ton of ton of music from this genre or this time period mm -hmm. right so i think this is definitely different than a lot of the other stuff we've done on the channel which is a little bit refreshing which is nice well, thanks for that support with that paid request yeah. offer. We appreciate that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button before you go. Leave us a Thumbs comment. Up. Hit the subscribe and notification bell as well. If you want to join us, we got two videos that we drop every single day. So they should come back when, Samantha? Tomorrow. That's right. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching, guys.